Hey, good day everybody. It's Carl here, wolfofficial.com, and we're going to be talking about how to maintain a job, always staying employed. Uh, The topic for discussion is never quit a job until you have another one. I've made the mistake very early on of quitting a job without having another source of income, and it was devastating. It was really difficult. I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to make it in life. I was going through a really difficult time. Probably should have never quit that job unless I had another one. But it just goes to show you that you live and you learn. And I don't know if other people have learned this yet, but it's true. Never quit a job until you have another one lined up. And how does that, what does that look like? So say you're dissatisfied with your job or you're just looking to get a different income. What you have to typically do is make certain that you start applying for other positions, whether it's within the company, but most likely for another company. And while you're while you're researching, you know, you the and you apply for the position, the other job, the other company is going to call you for an interview. So what you do is you take leave, take a leave of absence from the current job that you're at to go to the interview. And from that point on you'll be able to um you know don't ever you don't want to leave the current job that you have until you have an offer of acceptance from the next job because all that stuff is great right you quit your job and you're gonna start working for this other place and before you know it they say oh the position's been filled we're gonna go with somebody else even after they said you got the job in an interview don't don't quit your job until you have the offer of acceptance and that's kind of just how that works and what just came to mind is so in that point in time what you would do is you would have uh you know they're going to say when can you start working i believe what you would want to do is you know you put your two weeks in so they say you're hired you got the letter of acceptance then you go to your job and then you put your two weeks in um and when you're when you know when you're able to start work or whatever you know from there you would just put uh, after you get the letter of acceptance, you put in your two weeks. So when they ask you when can you start work, you could say something within a month, you know, something within a month, uh, budgeting for those two weeks. And I believe that's how that would work. I've never successfully left a job until I had another job. That's full disclosure. But what I do know is that's just how it's done. And that's what's going to keep your income coming in. So I appreciate you listening to this episode. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.